Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky and welcome to another featured house tour. Now this one was actually, um, it wasn't technically submitted. I kind of just asked for permission to tour it. It's from my friend Silverwolf6677. The download link will be in the description below so that you could download this home and check out the other ones in her gallery as well. Um, but yeah, this is the Urban Mini and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I saw some screenshots, so I haven't seen the entire build, but uh, I was so impressed that I had to tour it. For my channel so just starting off with the outside as always there's just a little bit of landscaping here in the front um actually not sure if there's a backyard but i'm not gonna worry about that right now we'll we'll look into that when we get uh when we get to it so for right now let's go ahead and start on the first floor as always through the front door through the front door through the front door slowly through the front door all right, let's go. Let's go. I want to see. I want to see. I must see. I can already see through the windows, but yeah. So um, here we are on the first floor. There is three floors total, I believe. So we'll have plenty, plenty to see in this little mini, which is awesome. Um, so as soon as we come in, it looks like this is part of the living room. We have the gorgeous fireplace with the TV on top, um, a nice little console table over here with plenty of little cluttered goodies and a bookshelf. Um, we have a beautiful black couch, which I don't see the dark furniture too often, but I absolutely love it. And ooh, oh my gosh, living room and dining room are down here. I wonder if this is like three separate apartments. I'm not actually sure. Um, but there is some spoiled food because the welcome wagon was here and I just kicked them out. So they, they left my house a mess. But <laughs> this is a beautiful dining room. Look at these windows. What a great view of the outside. Minus all the green, uh, green smoke. I don't know, the green nastiness coming out of that plate. Uh, oh, this bar has little lights wrapped around it. How cute. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. That is adorable. I love this kitchen. I like the um, the knife set on the wall too. That looks really cool. Very nice and modern. <laughs> um, there is everything you need in here. We've got a microwave, a stove, a fridge, a sink, coffee maker. Can't forget the coffee maker. And again, these beautiful dark black cabinets. Um, over on this side, we have a stereo, which I don't know. I guess I can hit play. Can I hit play? I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it paused. Um, <laughs> there is a, a door, which is probably a bathroom. I'll check that out in a second. And a set of doors that go outside. So I guess there's not really technically a backyard, but there is this awesome patio area with the table and chairs and the umbrella and a grill. And you can go down the stairs and... Um, yeah, there's a little bit of landscaping back here too. Very cute. Um, I like where it's placed because you can see the river, which is awesome. So we're going to go back up. I never even noticed this little logo behind the grill. That, that's really cute. <laughs> We're going to go back inside and check out what was through that mystery door before we go upstairs. I love this already. Oh my gosh. Very modern. Very nice. Usually when I think of modern, I think of white and, and um, really light clean colors, but modern, industrial, urban can definitely be done with this, uh, this dark black color as well. Very nicely. Oh, <laughs> I always, I always, I, I always catch my sims on the toilet. You saw that bathroom. We won't, we won't bother her. <laughs> Poor girl. We're going to go ahead and go upstairs now. <laughs> All right. So here we are on the second story and there is another, whoops, brick wall, <laughs> another beautiful living area over here. Another fireplace. You guys know I love the fireplaces in The Sims. They're so awesome. Um, these beautiful paintings on the wall. Over on this side, we have a chess table, which overlooks the balcony. It looks like the story has a balcony, which is really nice. You can see right outside. Um, we'll check out those doors in a second. Over on this side, we have the aquarium, which I love so much. I love fishies. And a little, um, what's that called? Table? shelf a little shelving unit so we're gonna go through here and i'm pretty sure this was a bathroom i kind of saw it before yeah okay so ooh, this is a nice bathroom very fancy very fancy i love the brick walls it looks so cool um this is one of my favorite little jetted tubs in the game it looks really nice with the black and the gold uh we have the sink mirror some nice comfy towels the blinds look really nice in here too i never think to use those uh, even the black toilet and the black shower just looks so sleek. Very nice. Very nice. And let's go back out this way. A little toilet paper on the wall. <laughs> All right. 
This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I totally want to use this for my Sims. <laughs> I say that a lot, but I really want to use this one for my Sims. <laughs> um, okay, so through the double doors, I guess this takes us to a staircase so we can get to the third floor. So I don't know, it's kind of... I still can't really decide if this is for, yeah, this has to be for one person, right? Because there was only one kitchen. And I assume the upstairs is where the bathrooms, bathrooms, bedrooms are. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. Okay, so here we are on the third floor and the stairs takes us to just this little entry entryway <laughs> with some beautiful plants and a couple of doors. And I assume these are the bedrooms up here. So we'll go through this one first. And yep. Very cool. Okay, so this bedroom looks like it's a kid's room. Um, the posters are so cool. I love all the neon colors. We have the two twin beds, um, some sporting equipment on the floor, uh, some books. Again, sticking with the black, dark colors in here. I love this poster too. That's so fun. Um, oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, you got a little backpack on the floor, the computer desk, bookshelf, and wardrobe. The, color, the black and the blue look so nice. This is really cool. Great, great, great job. And then this is probably the parents' room, I would imagine. Yep. Ooh, this is nice too. Ooh, black and purple. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, we've got the bed over on this side, um, some beautiful wall art. We have the wardrobe. Back in this corner, we have the computer desk. Very pretty flower art on top of the wall there too. Um, the calendar with the, was that a sexy mailman? <laughs> or something. I don't know, a sexy security guard. <laughs> uh, the fireplace, beautiful black candles, the TV right on top there, and the beautiful little dresser over here with some, um, is this an incense burner? Ooh, it's a little bit close. Uh, oh, and through the mirror, I can see a paint easel that I forgot. Didn't see. There we go. And then I assume, is this another balcony? Yeah. Very cool. I'm going to kind of do a shot from out here so you can see these balconies again. So there you could kind of see the bottom floor and all these balconies. I, I don't know if you can actually get to them. They might be more for design, but they're still really, really neat. All right, so it is floor plan time. We'll start off with this top third floor with the bedrooms. So this is definitely one family's home. At first, I was kind of confused as if it was for multiple families, but it's definitely for one family. Um, so you have the parents here and the kids up here, and then we're going to go down a floor. And then here we have the um, additional living area with the nice large bathroom. And then downstairs on the very first floor, we have the kitchen, dining, and another living room and another bathroom and the outside deck with the, the grill area and the umbrella table. There's just so much. I can't believe how much was fit into this little um, little home. Like the floor plan itself is really small. It looks like it's big because it has three stories, but it's, oh, there's my sim in the bathroom still. We'll, we'll give her some privacy. <laughs> I feel so bad. But anyways, um... This is just, this is so cool. I really love it. I really, really want to use it in my game. I think maybe, I think maybe when Sadie Living comes out, this would be a great penthouse to put on top of the apartment buildings. It's so cool, so modern, so uh, urban, <laughs> just like the name says, and I love it. And I'm going to do my favorite screen shot in one second. All right, so my favorite shot of the home is this bathroom. I love it. The black and the gold look so cool. It's got my favorite little jetted tub. The brick wall looks amazing. The tile looks great. All of it. I love it. It's beautiful. I would love to have this bathroom in real life. So I am pretty sure I'm going to use this for one one of my Sims upcoming soon. Maybe maybe if uh, Silverwolf6677 lets me use it for one of my Let's Plays, it might make another appearance there. And if you want to download it and add it to your home, the description for the link to the gallery will be the link, the link to... Oh, the link for the house will be in the description. I give up. I give up. You could download the house. The information's in the description. Let's just put it that way before I keep getting tongue tied. <laughs> and if you, uh, if you want me to tour a house that you've built, or a restaurant, or uh, a haunted house, or anything, anything that you've built into the into the Sims Three or the Sims Four, I've lost my abilities to talk, guys. I'm so sorry. All you have to do is contact me. Look for Simmer Key on any of the social medias. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Is that all of them? Or <laughs> you can find me on YouTube or Google Plus. And if all else fails, email me at thesimmerkey at gmail.com. All of that is in the, in the description below. I don't know why I can't say that today, but you can find all of it down there, down there, if you want to find me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss my next video. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.